Hi, my name is Jay from the Meadows High School. Support for today's varsity quiz is provided by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's Coronado <laughs> and the Meadows. <laughs> this is Varsity Quiz. Hello and welcome to the 49th season of Varsity Quiz, where the best and the brightest high school students are matching wits in this unique academic competition. Tonight, the road to the Silver League Championship begins with the first of our quarterfinal matches. It's Coronado and the Meadows facing off for the chance to move on to the semifinals. We'll meet our players starting for Coronado. There's Brandon and Simon and Tim and Tyler J. And the other players for Coronado. We start with Tyler P. Hey, Tyler. There's Nolan. Hey, Nolan. Also playing for Coronado, it's Nishi. Hey, Nishi. And Dylan. Also for Coronado, there's Josh. Hey, Josh. And Sam. Hi, Sam. Also for Coronado, Saad. Hey. There's also Rhythmic. Hey, Rhythmic. And for Coronado, don't forget Alex. What's up? And Karina. And Jason. And the coach for Coronado, Matt Aberman. Hey, Matt. Starting for the Meadows, it's Jay. Hey, Jay. There's Sam. Howdy, Sam. Eric. And Jared. And the other players for the Meadows, it's Justin T. Hey, Justin. There's also Ratib. Hi, Ratib. Also for the Meadows, it's Shan. Hi, Shan. And it's Spencer. Hey, Spencer. And finally, Justin F. Hey, Justin. The coach for the Meadows, it's Gary Hanley. Hey, Gary. Now, there are 25 questions in this first round with each correct answer worth five points. Ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. After a bloodless victory at Sonoma in 1846, the revolutionaries fashioned a flag with a single red star, a grizzly bear, and what two words? Coronado, Brandon A. California Republic. That's correct. Next question is a calculation question. What is the sum of the number of lives a cat has, the number of stitches saved by a stitch in time, and the number of tenths that possession is of the law. Repeating, what's the sum of the number of lives a cat has, number of stitches saved by a stitch in time, and the number of tenths that is the possession of the law? And that is Coronado, Tim. 39. Incorrect. Meadows, Eric. Uh, 20. Incorrect, it's 27. Next question. In 2017, NASA began advertising for a PPO to keep Earth safe from alien life. For what does this abbreviation stand? Coronado, Tim. Planetary Protective Order. Incorrect. Time, we're looking for Planetary Protection Officer. You're on the right track, Tim. Next question, the following haiku inspired by what American novel? Slaughterhouse Karma, the dying ox returns as Durham's potted meat. Coronado, Brandon. The jungle. Yes. Next question, what term derived from the name of a Norwegian Nazi collaborator has come to mean Coronado, Brandon. Quizzling. Yes. You fly from Madrid, Spain on a compass heading, a compass heading of 350 degrees. This heading will eventually take you over what huge bay? Coronado, Brandon. Bay of Biscay. Correct. Next question. What word completes this ending to a verse of one of Edgar Allan Poe's poems? Is all that we see or seem but a dream within a blank? Coronado, Tim. Dream. Yes. You prepaid a supplier to deliver some merchandise that turned out to be defective, or you paid a contractor to fix your leaky roof, but after weeks, the job is still not done. Well, in both cases, to get your money back, you can file a civil action claiming breach of what? Coronado, Brandon. Contract. Yes. Rising some 825 feet from its base, name the quartz 
Dome Mon Monadnock in Georgia with a bas relief of Stonewall Jackson, Robert E. Lee, Coronado, Brandon. Stone Mountain. Yes. Next question. While hemotoxins destroy red blood cells and neurotoxins destroy nervous tissue, what kind of tissue is destroyed by myotoxins? Coronado, Tim? Muscle. Judge? Yes. Next question. Through what power did West Palm Beach purchase 300 homes to make way for a new golf course? Uh, the Meadow, Sam? I'm in domain. Yes. Next question. In 1971, documents released to the press showed that the U.S. government had deceived the American people. The Meadows, Eric? The Pentagon Papers? Yes. Here's a calculation question. You add a number to the numerator of 11 sixty-fourths. And you add twice that number to the denominator of the same fraction. Now, if the result is one-fifth, what is the number? Repeating, you add a number to the numerator of 11 over 64. You add twice that number to the denominator of that same fraction. If the result is one-fifth, what is the number? Coronado, Tim. Three. Yes. Next question. What words routinely follow in the cliché that begins with these words? Quote, raises more questions, blank. Uh, Coronado, Tim? Then is necessary. Incorrect. The Meadows, Eric? Uh, then answers. Yes, I think. Yeah. Judge? Yes, we are accepting that. That is correct. Next question. Name the set of chemical reactions that take place under anaerobic conditions to produce lactic acid. Coronado, Tim? Fermentation. Yes. In 1850, President Millard Fillmore named what religious leader as the first governor of the territory of Utah? Coronado, Simon? Joseph Smith. Incorrect. Uh, the Meadows, Jared? Brigham Young. Yes. Next question. Named for a character created by Lewis Carroll, what psychological syndrome is illustrated of uh, the Meadows, Sam? Stockholm Syndrome? No, by a person who perceives objects either much larger or much smaller than they really are. Coronado, Tim. Cheshire? No, we were looking for Alice in Wonderland syndrome. Next question. Chapter 11 of what American legal code gives individuals or businesses the opportunity uh, Coronado, Brandon. Bankruptcy. Judge? We accept that as a yes. So next question. What prestigious prize was awarded to Jane Addams, Theodore Roosevelt, Albert Schweitzer? Coronado, Brandon. The Nobel Peace Prize. Yes. In the British Parliament, voting with the opposition's called crossing the floor. Uh, Coronado, Brandon. Crossbenching. Incorrect. In the U.S. Congress, this is also called crossing the... The Meadows, Eric? Aisle. Correct. Next question. This geometric solid is similar to a cylinder in that it has the same cross section. Coronado, Tim. Cone? No. Its volume is calculated by multiplying the area of the base by the height. So name this solid that can be right or oblique. The Meadows, Eric? Um, pyramid? No, we were looking for a prism. Next question. The United States, the Soviet Union, and the United Kingdom, France, and China were the first five nations, Coronado, Tim. Security Council? Incorrect. To have nuclear weapons. The Meadows, Jared? Big five? No. We were looking for, the question was in 1974, what Asian country became the sixth to have nuclear weapons was India. Okay. Cry the Beloved Country is a novel by Alan Payton, or Patton, set in what country? Uh, Coronado, Brandon? America. Incorrect. The Meadows, Eric? England? No, it was South Africa. What's the name for the central channel-like corridor or scar along which an avalanche has traveled? Coronado, Tim? Gulch? No. Time, we were looking for shoot. Uh, what American who passed away in 2004 said the following? Trust, but verify. The Meadows, Jared. Ronald Reagan. Uh, yes, that is correct. So we've come to the end of our first round. Each player here at Varsity Quiz submits an info card to the CCSD Varsity Quiz staff with revealing, sometimes humorous details. We're going to take a moment right now to learn more about our players. Starting with Coronado, there's Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hello. Everything going all right so far? Yeah. Let's see. It says here you have an idea of what you may major in in college. 
Yes, it does. And what is that? Biology. And what do you like about biology? Uh, study of living things. It's very good if you want to go into a professional career in medicine. Excellent. Well, good luck with that and good luck with Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Brandon. Next for Coronado, Simon. Hey, Simon. Hey, Nate. Simon's a senior. And what do you like to read? Uh, fantasy. Any particular author? Uh, Brandon Sanderson. Excellent. Well, keep enjoying the reading and good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Thank Thanks. you, Simon. Here's uh, Tim. Hey, Tim. How's it going, Nate? Uh, I'm mostly sunny, but you knew that. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you know which college you're going to be going to? Yeah. Uh, I got accepted recently into MIT. Well, congratulations. And, yeah, it's crazy. I still can't believe it. It's been like two months and I still can't believe it. So. Well, I'll bet you believe it next fall. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I do plan to attend MIT. It's, <laughs> okay, that's yeah. good. Congratulations, Tim, <laughs> and good you. luck here on Varsity Quiz. Also for Coronado, it's Tyler J. Hey, Tyler. How's it going, Nate? I'm sticking with Mostly Sunny. Uh, what is your college plan? I'm planning to study uh, economics and urban studies. And any particular reason? Just like money, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. Tyler, good luck with that and good luck with Varsity Quiz. Give it up for the team from Coronado. Now let's meet our players for the Meadows. We start with Jay. Hey, Jay. Everything going all right so far? Great. On your bio card, it says there is a particular type of food that you enjoy. Yes, I love spicy teriyaki sauce. On anything? On rice, on meat, doesn't matter. It's just the best sauce out there, really. On cereal? <laughs> uh, on cereal, I haven't tried that. Sounds pretty good, though. All I'm right, like, we'll give it a shot cereal, and get back to us good. on that. Well, I'll try it out. All right. Jay, thanks for being here. Good luck at Varsity Quiz. Thank you. Here is Sam, an 11th grader. Hey, Sam. Hey, Nate. Good yeah. to see you. You have a favorite author? Yes, J.R. Tolkien. That? Do you like all of his books? Yeah, well, he only talks about Middle Earth, so yeah. <laughs> is there any one that stands out, or you just like them all? Uh, I like the Silmarillion the most. Okay. Well, thanks for being here, Sam, and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Here's a senior Eric. Hi, Eric. Hey, Nate. Glad to have you with us. You have a favorite novel. Uh, yeah, The uh, Butters Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. But there's a little uh, tidbit here. Oh, yeah, I never really finished it. I only got... <laughs> so I only ended up getting it for three-fourths so, because I found that um, Dimitri's uh, story arc wasn't nearly as interesting as, say, Ivan or, Al or, or Alyosha. So it's still your favorite novel, yeah, even though you haven't finished it. Never finished it. Wait till you get to the end. Eric, thanks for being with us, and good luck at Varsity Quiz. And here's Jared. Hey, Jared. Hello. Thanks for being with us. Uh, let's see. You play a musical instrument. Yes. What is that? I play the bassoon. Not I've too many I've been playing people. it for about three years, and it's kind of unique, and I really enjoy playing it. Is there an orchestra at the Meadows? Uh, I'm in the band at the Meadows. Okay. Yes. There's room for a bassoon in the band at the Meadows. Yep. Awesome. Well, good luck with bassoon. Good luck with Varsity Quiz. Ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, the team from the Meadows. <laughs> and coming up next our bonus round. And the score as we get into round two, Coronado has 60 points to the Meadows, 30. No new players for Coronado, a couple of new players on the Meadows. We want to say hello to Shen. Hi, Shen. And Justin. Hey, Justin. Uh, good luck to you guys. This round is timed at six minutes and the time starts when I begin this first question. Name the work Van Gogh painted in June 1889 depicting the view from the east facing window and that is Coronado. Tyler? Starry Night. Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Give an answer that includes the word night. First, what famous Rembrandt painting depicts a detachment of the city guard moving out led by Captain Franz Kalk and his lieutenant, Willem van Rittenberch? And second, name the 1942 oil on canvas painting by Edward Hopper that portrays people in a downtown diner late at night. Oh my gosh, I know this. It's um. I know this. That's like, Do you know it? Like downtown night? I don't know. I night in the town. Yeah, Captain, your answer. Uh, for the first, night watch, or the second, night on the town? The first one is correct. The second one was night hawks. So you get some bonus points. And now this question for both teams. It's a calculation question. What is the sum of the squares of two consecutive even integers whose sum is 22? Repeating, what is the sum of uh, Coronado, Simon? 244. Yes, sir. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following calculation questions. First, 9 is the sum of the digits in a two-digit number. If those digits are reversed, the new number is 9 less than the original number. So what is the original number? Second, how many five-digit numbers end in zero? Repeating, 
Nine is the sum of the digits in a two-digit number. If the digits are reversed, the new number is nine less than the original. What is the original? Second, how many five-digit numbers end in zero? Isn't it every ten yeah. is a ten? So it's like ten. a thousand? Yeah. Ten times a thousand should be a thousand. I don't know. Hopefully it's not like 999 or something. Captain? For the first, 81. For the second, a thousand. Both are incorrect. The uh, original number was 54. And there are 9,000 five-digit numbers that end in zero. So no bonus points. And this question for both teams. Where in New Mexico was Robert Oppenheimer living when he received a letter in 1943 from Franklin Roosevelt trying to smooth over a rift between Oppenheimer and that's Coronado, Brandon. Los Alamos. Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following about secret facilities. First, the Cheyenne Mountain Complex is a hollowed-out mountain in Colorado Springs that was formerly the site of this organization that provides aerospace warning, air sovereignty, and protection for Northern America. Second, the Yucca Lake Airfield is a top-secret site located near which small Nevada town about halfway between Reno and Las Vegas? What's the first one? Um, it's a FAA. Just something. Yeah, if they say like Captain. Army or National Guard. For the first, the FAA. For the second, Tonopah. Tonopah is correct. The first one is NORAD. So some bonus points. And this question for both teams. In which literary work did the character Sinbad the Sailor first appear? Uh, the Meadows, Eric. 1001 Nights. Yes. Bonus questions now for the Meadows only. Answer the following associated with literature. First, name the archetypal rogue who appears in three of Shakespeare's plays and can eat, drink, and be merry under practically any circumstance. Second, name the explorer that is so highly esteemed in Portugal that he's the subject of their most important literary epic, The Lusiads. Captain. Uh, first one, Caliban, second one, Bilbao. Both are incorrect. We're looking for Falstaff and Vasco da Gama. No bonus points. This question now for both teams. Detrivores are divided into detritus feeders and what other group that break down organic compounds into simpler molecules? Coronado, Simon. Composers. Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following associated with science. First, entropy is greatest for which state of matter? Second, walrus and warthog tusks are modified canine teeth, but the tusks of elephants and narwhals are what other kind of modified teeth? I guess. All right, you guys good with this question? All right, for the first, gas. For the second, incisors. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now this question for both teams. In 2017, the United States dropped out of an international climate pact named for what European city? Coronado, Tim? Paris. Yes, bonus questions for Coronado only. Answer the following associated with current events. First, name the position Michael Flynn held in the Trump administration, who pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russia during the presidential trans uh, transition period. And second, name the sports figure who is the recipient of the 2017 Sports Illustrated Muhammad Ali Legacy Award. Wait for the first, is it Chief of Staff? Or yeah, White House Chief of Staff for the first one. For the second one, wouldn't it be a box or something? Or... <laughs> Captain? For the first, Chief of Staff. For the second, Michael Jordan. Both are incorrect. The position was National Security Advisor, and the recipient of the uh, Ali Legacy Award is Colin Kaepernick. No bonus points. This question now for both teams. The angle between the horizontal and the line from the object to the observer's eye, or the line of sight, is called the angle... Coronado, Tim. Inclination. Incorrect. Uh, the Meadows, Jared. Elevation. Yes. Bonus questions now for the Meadows. Answer the following associated with angles. First, the angle between the lateral axis of a ship and the horizontal is called the angle of what? Second, the loose sand on the slip surface of the lee side of a dune is at or near the angle of what? Uh, first answer, angle of displacement. Second, uh, no answer. Both are incorrect. We're looking for angle of roll and the angle of repose. And we're out of time. That is the end of the bonus round. Before we move on, though, we want to take a quick moment to thank the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. 
They provide judges and timekeepers at each and every match of our season. It begins much earlier in the school year with dozens of matches in classrooms at various schools. We appreciate the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas and their dedication to Varsity Quiz. We salute all of their fine work in the community too. And we want to give a shout out to the staff and leadership of the Clark County School District's Student Activities Department. They coordinate every step of the program from early in the school year all the way to the championship. Our speed round is next. Going into our speed round, the score Coronado with 105 points to the Meadows 40. As veteran varsity quiz watchers know, anything can happen in the speed round. Before we get there, we do have some new players for Coronado. We say hello to Josh. Hey, Josh. Glad you could be here. And there are two new players on the Meadows. There's Spencer. Hey, Spencer. Good luck to you. And also another Justin, a different Justin. Hey, Justin. Glad you guys could be here. Now, in the speed round, there are 30 questions. Correct answer worth five points. Here we go. What is the term for a graphical representation of a frequency distribution? Coronado, Josh. A sine wave. Incorrect. We were looking for a histogram. Next question, what vitamin that is present in ascorbic acid? Uh, Coronado, Tim. C. Yes. Using starfish as your first term and fish as your second term, state a universal negative proposition. Time, we were looking for no starfish, our fish. Thank you. Next question, what do oceanographers call submerged, isolated volcanic peaks? Coronado, Tim? Ridges? No. Meadows, Eric? Uh, sea mounts? Yes. Uh, next question, picaresque novels are usually written in what person? Uh, the Meadows, Eric? Uh, first person? Yes. K plus and S minus two are examples of what kind of uh, Coronado, Tim? Ions? Yes. Next question, what medical specialist has extensive training in the symptoms, mechanisms, treatments, and detection of human poisoning? Coronado, Tim? That's no, no answer. And Meadows, Eric? Psychologist? Yes. To prove without question that someone is guilty is to have him, quote, dead to what? Coronado, Brandon? Evidence? No. We are looking for dead to rights. Next question. At the conclusion of the first National Convention of the Republican Party in 1856, what Californian, uh, Coronado Brandon? Fremont. Yes. According to what rule are atoms with eight electrons in their outer shell, uh, Coronado Tim? Valence rule. Incorrect. In their outer shell considered stable. Did he get in in time? Uh, the Meadows, that was Justin? Noble gases. No, we were looking for octet rule. Next question. What kind of vipers are moccasins, lance heads, bushmasters, and rattlesnakes? Coronado, Brandon? Snakes. No. Meadows, Eric? Mm, venomous. No, they are pit vipers. Next question. Using the NATO phonetic alphabet, spell the word ship. Time, it's Sierra Hotel India Papa. Next question, legally speaking, a riot requires at least how many participants? Coronado, Tim? Three. Yes. Next question, what is the measure of the angle between a diameter of a circle and the tangent to the circle that intersects the diameter? Coronado, Tim? 90 degrees. Yes. What composite monster of ancient Greece was part lion? Uh, Coronado, Josh? Chimera. Yes. In the 1980s, the unknown suspect in a series of bombings was known by what? Uh, Coronado, Josh? The Unabomber. Yes. Who in 1940 was named head of the French government in exile? Meadows, Eric? Uh, Charles de Gaulle. Yes. Next is a calculation question, no repeating in the third round. What is the sum of two to the negative third power and minus one to the negative fourth power? Coronado, Tim. Three-fourths. Incorrect. Meadows, Jared. Negative seven-eighths. No, we were looking for nine-eighths. Next question. What is the westernmost state capital in Australia? Coronado, Brandon. Perth. Yes. The strength of a magnetic field can be measured in units. Name for what Serbian-born American? Coronado, Tim. Tesla. Yes. While criminal cases involve crimes, what kind of cases involve violations of people's rights? Coronado, Brandon. Civil cases. Yes. What last king of France was Marie Antoinette's 
Uh, Coronado, Brandon? Louis the 16th. Yes. Osteoporosis increases the risk of what kind of injuries? Coronado, Josh? Bone fractures. Judges? We'll take that as a correct answer, yes. Nouns in the genitive case are created either by adding apostrophe S to the word or preceding the word, and that's Meadows, Jared? Of. Correct. What birds belong to the genus Cygnus? Coronado, Josh? Cygnets. No? Meadows, Eric? Mm, eagles. No, we were looking for swans. Next, all fuel cells have an anode and what? Uh, Coronado, Tim? Cathode. Yes. Because he tried to seduce Hera, who was tied to a huge, who was tied to a huge turning wheel in Tartarus? Coronado, Tim? Adonis. No? Time, we were looking for Ixion. Uh, calculation questions next. The decimal number 204 is expressed as 411 in what base? Coronado, Tim? Four. No? Time, we're looking for base seven. Early in Moby Dick, Ishmael discovers that he has an unusual bedfellow who shaves with a harpoon. Name him. Oh, we were looking for Queequeg. In May of 1948, forces from Egypt, Transjordan, Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq unsuccessfully invaded uh, the Meadows, Jared. Israel. That is correct. We're out of questions, so it's time to find out who won. Final score, Coronado, 170 points to the Meadows, 70. Congratulations to Coronado, and thank you to both teams for an excellent match. Again, Coronado is the winner. We invite you to join us next Monday for the second quarterfinal match of the Silver League featuring defending champion Clark High School and the Las Vegas Academy. That's next Monday at 7.30, another exciting night of Varsity Quiz right here on Vegas PBS.